Okay, here's where we left off. Right here. And in the meantime, I think you've probably seen the blog post on this guy here. I had this head sitting around and uh, I just thought I'd goof around with it. I wanted to make a lantern that looked fairly realistic and I think that one turned out pretty good. And uh, I'd originally painted his shirt a chambray blue which is basically this color right here so it really didn't look good so then I went back and painted it a dark midnight blue and then dirtied it up with uh, with just some dust and dirt that I thought would sort of match the area that this guy's rock came from so he turned out pretty good so anyway I still haven't decided on which direction to go with the figure so what I thought we'd do is we'd first carve a head well Here's a head that I did last week, sitting down at the little wood carving group, Tuesday wood carving group at the senior center. And uh, keeping it in the caricature mode, I thought we would uh, put a mustache on him versus a cigarette. Some people get upset when you stick a cigarette in a guy's mouth, but you can bet that back during the period that we're going to place this guy or that guy, just about every guy smoked a cigarette. So not only did they die of black lung disease, they probably died of cigarette smoke too. So anyway, with our blank we've got cut out here, all we're going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take the hat off and cut that off right there. And the reason I'm going to do that is not because it's easier to do, it's because this way I can show you, go over once again on carving a head, just a plain head, and that will benefit the people who don't necessarily want to carve a coal mine. You can always put a hat on it, but if you go and carve the head with the hat on there, it's going to be kind of hard to take it off and then use it for something else. So anyway, give me a second and I'm going to go cut, cut this off. Alright, so he's lost his hat. I'm going to set that aside. You can hang on to this if you want to, but if we, when we go to put a hat on his head, it's going to be a lot easier just to look in your scrap box and find a piece of wood to use than to try to use that one. Okay, the first thing I like to do when I start carving a head is uh, first let's find the center point, which is about right there. Actually, it's about right there. Okay, and if you look at the top of this head here, now he's got a mustache, so normally this is not this rounded. Normally, if I was going to carve a figure without a mustache, I would sort of triangle, turn this thing into sort of a semi-triangle here, or a lopsided oval or whatever, by taking those corners off pretty deep down, down to about here and here, where the nose would be. Leave it broad back here for his ears. All right. So we can just start start on this. And remember how how your grain goes. And actually you've got the grain going up and down, but it's also going one direction or the other direction. So how it splits off over here is not necessarily how it's going to split off over here. See, this is splitting more towards the inner area. So if I carve down, it comes off a little better. So anyway, let me get this down to a, to a shape we can work with, okay? Save some tape time. We'll come back in a minute. All right, I've got this... Uh, Whittle down, I'll whittle down his neck just a little. You can see from the top how it's rounded there. Now, like I say, I left this more rounded to accommodate his mustache. Mush, mustache. Than if, if he had, if he didn't have one, okay? So anyway, now what we need to do is line out the structure of the head, okay? And what I like to do, once more, is just show you Uh, 
to me, this is really important, and a lot of carvers don't pay much attention to this. And as a result, their carvings don't look as good as they might. And here's the biggest mistake. Right here. Here's the skull, upper part of the skull. And here's the jaw. Okay? And here's the spinal cord coming in to the neck, like that. A lot of carvers, you see this over and over and over again. For some reason, I think the jaw or the spinal cord starts back here. It doesn't. It starts right in here. That's where it joins. So this head comes down like this, curves in like that, and then goes down to where a lot of carvers, because they think that's things back here, evidently, they carve it like that. Okay, the eraser, I get rid of some of this extraneous crap so you can see that just a little bit better. And Judy runs off to get the eraser. So anyway, we have to take that into consideration when we're doing our heads. You can still bring the eraser. So right here's his jaw. If you feel, just follow your jaw. Reach back and follow your jaw line. And then just draw a straight up line like that. And I don't know if that was in the hang on. There, that's what their carved heads look like. I mean, it should look like this. It's just anatomy. Now, you'd say, well, what is anatomy to a caricature car carving? Well, it's a lot, to my way of thinking. The head should actually be a little larger than that. It's important, at least it is to me. Okay, so now we want to establish his jaw, which is right there. And I, the way I do this, I just come up here, just roughly just keep that line going and sketch in his ear. Like that, make it. We're gonna put a hat on him, so. We want this ear to come up even with the bottom of that hat. Right there. See how it fit, see how that hat goes down on the head? So that hat, when we put it on him, is going to be just about like that. So now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and Establish our line on the other side, get an equal there. Looks good. So now we can make our first cut, which will be in here. Here. We can take out a little notch right there. See, we've established his jaw right there. His jaw's been established. Okay, now we can start at this point right here where the ear meets the head. And with your knife blade, not like this, not like that, but like this, carving away from this line into the waist that we're going to take off. We don't want to carve into the good wood that we're going to whittle on later. So with a light angle, just stick your knife into that point and follow that ear around. Just like that. And then you can come back.
take these chips out like that. Helicopter guys are scanning my place again. There you go. See now you can see how quickly that comes comes into shape there. Now we can go on in and take even more of this out. So there we've got that now. Let me go ahead and uh, yeah, whittle this down just a bit more. As you can see by the front, he's got this head is pretty wide right here, this way to accommodate for that mustache. So we might be narrowing this down up here just a bit. We just have to wait and see what happens when I carve the other side, okay? So that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna go ahead and carve the other side. But you saw me carve this side, so I don't think you need to see me do the other side. So we'll stop the tape there for a minute. Okay. All right, so we've got the head pretty well blocked out. Now what we want to do to finish this area and to wrap up this video, let me wrap these corners off. Alright. Is this line, just continue with this line right there. We bring that on down. Now starting right here from that point where the ear joins the head, we're going to carve downward just like that. Okay? And then we're going to take that chip out. Like that. That separates the bottom of the ear from, from the mustache. And then we can carve this back. going sticking out now. It's no longer a flat plane. There. Makes quite a bit of difference, just that little bit of whittling, doesn't it? pay attention to is right back here. You want this head again, or neck and head, again, to look like they're joined here. You don't want, you want this head back here, this portion of the skull, to be out away from this portion of the neck. split in the wrong direction there. But there, see, it looks natural. It just looks natural. 
This could be a realistic head almost. It would take a little bit more refinement, but it could be a realistic head. So I'm not going to do this side. You just only do this side over here. So that's going to end this video. And now in the next video, after we get the other side done to match this side over here, we'll work on establishing the nose and outlining the mustache. Okay? So until next time, I'll talk to you later.